Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be seeing what is inside this beautiful Archer and Olive subscription box. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this box to come. This is the second Archer and Olive subscription box. I missed the first one because I didn't know anything about Archer and Olive at the time. But if you have been following me at this point, you know I am obsessed with all things Archer and Olive. So this bullet journaling journey that I have been on has been so much fun. I absolutely love my bullet journal. I love working in it. I love decorating it. I love everything. I love filming it. I love all of it. So when it was time to jump on the subscription box for this next quarter, I don't know, whatever they're calling it, I immediately jumped on. Disclaimer, I went and got my nails done. Ironically, they matched the box. That was not intentional. However, second day, this happened. Don't come for my nails, y'all. Don't come for my nails. That's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to see what's inside this fabulously filthy blue box. I hate that they do this, I really wish they would ship it in some plastic or something so that people could save the box and use it for other stuff. But such is life. So anyway, let me stop rambling. Again, don't come for my nail. I know it's broke and it doesn't match. Don't don't be that person. OK, just don't don't be that person that goes on YouTube talking about people's nails. Don't be that person. Let's just have fun. OK, and see what's inside. I have been avoiding Facebook, Instagram, Twitter everything like the plague because I didn't want to be spoiled I wanted to see what was in the box for myself so here we go oh my gosh okay so we're gonna start off with this super cute wait let me move the box out of the way because I don't have enough room on this little table okay so we're gonna start off with this super cute Archer and Olive tote oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it I love it it's so precious and white and it even has Archer and Olive down here on the corner. So cute. Blank back. It has a zipper pocket on the inside. Look at the pin. Look. You better come through with the pin loops. Pin loops on the inside and this super cute pocket here in the front. So this is a fully functioning planner bag. Love it. And then we have this Archer and Olive handcrafted journal and planners to enhance your everyday life. And this is ooh, a sketchbook. That's fun. 144 blank pages. It's 160 GSM ultra thick pages. Perfect for markers, pens, even paint. And it looks like it is a purple color. It looks like it's a purple book. So, yeah, super excited about this sketchbook. And then, let me open this. Y'all want me to open this? Let me open this. Because <laughs> I'm curious to see what the sketchbook looks like. I apologize in advance if y'all can hear my son's TV in the background. And this car that's honking right now, I did tell him that I was filming and that he needed to be quiet, but he's a teenager. So, but in book, yes, that is purple and that is gorgeous. So, ooh, and it feels kind of like leathery. That's cool. A dot grid sketchbook. Oh, and it has a pen loop on here. I like the top coils. I think that's cool. So you have your elastic band, your pin loop here. Here are the pages. Oh, they're not dot grid. I don't know why I thought I said. Oh, they're blank. Blank pages. And then, oh my gosh, they even put a pocket in the back. So cool. So yeah, this is the sketchbook. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Super duper cute. All right. So let's get this out of the 
the wall. Then we have some acrylographs. Ooh, let's see what colors. Y'all, everything is really clowny today. It's not like a uh, racetrack outside. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so we have this color. It almost looks kind of, I don't know, beige, pinkish. Ooh, this green looks really pretty. I'm excited about the green. And there's this like, it's like a mustardy kind of color, but it has like a green tint to it. Then I don't know anything about colors, you guys. And then of course you have like this one in the pinkish tones and then like this blue purple kind of thing. So the colors are very pretty. And these do not look like familiar acrylic acrylograph colors, but I'm not really sure. Once I do my swatch, um, I'll be sure to post that so we can kind of compare with the other ones to see if they're the same. And then what else is in here? I don't have any idea what this is. Oh, it's a stamp block. Um, it's one of those clear acrylic stamping blocks. Okay, and so now they just talking to everything. Everybody in my building is being real disrespectful today. So again, I apologize for all the noise. So yeah, it's one of those clear acrylic stamping blocks. And I know it's a stamping block because here are the stamps. Love them. I love the calendar stamp. I love the weeks. Super cute. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. I guess you could use it for um, maybe like a habit tracker or something. I don't know, but it's cool. Oh, I love the air balloon. It's super cute. And the flowers are very pretty and the clouds. I love it. Super cute. So yeah, um, that's cool. They gave you a stamp and then the clear block for the stamps. Um, I did do a video on how to stamp with clears. So if you missed that and you need some assistance, go check that out. I will leave it in the um, cards above. And then you also got some ink to go with it. So this looks like black and then here's one that looks like a tan brown goldish kind of color not really sure but those are awesome and then you got another acrylic block a little bit smaller um, which is really nice for your smaller stamps i prefer working with you know a block similar to the size of the item versus having a huge block for a cloud um, so that's pretty cool got two blocks two ink pads and then I see this stamps super cute this out of the way and then you got some stickers um, this has two sheets of stickers in a smooth matte finish I love the colors I think it's so pretty I want to see if the stickers are the same two sheets of the same thing yeah so two sheets of stickers very 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 pretty and i got the stickers that came in the um february box in the valentine's day box and i didn't use them in my um bullet journal but i did use them in my faith planner and that was really cool so some of these things I don't necessarily need for my actual journal just because I haven't really, um, I kind of have my themes already kind of mapped out for the year. But if they don't work in my actual journal, then I have been putting them in my um, regular planners. So that's kind of cool too. Um, and then I'm going to see if this one is the same as well. So you've got two sheets of stickers in this one. And yes, they are the same. So that's cool. Yeah, I really like those. The stickers are pretty. So far, I really like everything. I think it's super cute. Now, I will say the subscription box is, I believe it was 70, um, you know, $70 um, for the U.S., obviously. I don't know as far as when the next one will be released, but I think that once you get the subscription box once, you are automatically, you know, signed up for the next ones is how it works. So, um, 
I hope that's the case because I'm not really always good about remembering <laughs> to, you know, resubscribe to things. So I prefer, um, you know, for my boxes to just continue to come. So hopefully that's the case for this one as well. And then next we have this giant sized box. And this is um, 112 dot grid pages, 100 G, 160 GSM, ultra thick pages, perfect for markers, pens, and even paint. I don't know what size book this is, but it is massive. Let's see what this is. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a book this size. I don't even know what you do with it. Like, it's not something you could carry around. <laughs> I could totally use this for my scripture writing book, though, maybe. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. And again, it has that, like, leathery kind of feel to it which is cool. Oh, I love that color. And the little ship is super cute. Come on. Yeah, I, this could totally be just like a regular, you know, full-size journal. Because I don't think anybody could just carry this size around. It's, it's massive. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is totally, let me see. Um, yeah, this is totally like a, a full size book, like eight and a half by 11. <laughs> so I don't think anybody can carry this around, but I totally can see myself using it probably for scripture writing after my other one is finished because I like to do the scripture writing in, um, a bigger book, obviously. So I have more room and more space to write, which is why I've been using a regular planner instead of the traveler's notebook. Cause it's just, it's just not enough space for me. So anyway, it does come with the pin loop, the elastic band. There's a pocket here in the back, like normal. And then you get the dot grid pages and Archer and Olive standard two bookmarks with the super cute um, charm on the end of one of them. And it's in this beautiful, I don't know what color this would be, teal color. And again, it's all in the same color family. So cool. But yeah, I love it. Love this size. Super cool. And there's at least one more thing here. Okay. This is the last thing. So we actually got two of those books. Um, oh, and this one is lined. So the other one is dotted and this one is lined. So let's see. Again, it's another eight and a half by eleven size book. Uh, this one has more of like that linen cover instead of the leathery cone. But again, it's beautiful. The little compass on the front is beautiful. I love the gold detail especially on this red it's really pretty and I think that's why I like the Valentine's Day one so much because I absolutely love the way the red and that gold swan looks um, but again it has the pin loop the elastic band on the front your pocket in the back Ooh, and the line pages those are so cool so this is like for real notebook I love it though I think this is cool so yeah, I'm thinking that when this year is over and it's time for me to switch to a new book for my scripture writing, um, I think I'll definitely um, use one of these next year instead of using a traditional planner because there, although I like the traditional planner, there's a lot of it that I don't actually need because I'm not using it to plan. So I really just need, you know, the dates. Um, which the one I'm using is currently undated, so I have to write the date in anyway. Um, but I really just need the space to write. So I can still decorate these pages and add the little washi or stickers or whatever. Um, and I actually would have a little bit more flexibility to do that in a notebook versus in the planner. 
because for that one I'm currently using the dashboard layout so you know you really only have that one side worth of space so anyway um, I am so excited about this so again we got the two full-sized notebooks we got the stickers we got stamps and two acrylic blocks and two ink pads then we also received the five acrylic acrylograph pens markers and a sketchbook which is super cute and last but not least the beautiful tote to keep everything in so that is everything that came in this particular subscription box i think everything is super cute it is very 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 different from the box um that people were unboxing the very first one um so now that i've unboxed this i do want to kind of go and and watch some other videos to see what their you know viewpoints are i think it's very cute i did like the um I guess accessories maybe that came with the other box a little bit better um you know the little cover and things like that i thought were cuter but all of these things i think are obviously more functional um <laughs> because you know we of course love our markers um and then you know stamps and everything can be used over and over and over and over again which makes them very cool so um and the colors again i think are absolutely beautiful they're bright but still kind of muted if that makes sense <laughs> i guess they're bright but they're not like red blue you know they they still have a softer kind of tone to them which is cool and i love how everything just matches and it's all like you know tied together from the markers to the stickers to the books um i think that's really cool so and then the air balloons are so cute like it just gives you that very whimsical kind of feel to it which is cool um i think at some point especially with everything that's been going on everybody has probably fantasized about just going away <laughs> whether it be traveling or just you know going on some adventures or whatever um, I think we can kind of all relate to the sentiment of that. I just want to get away from, you know, just being at home and just being quarantined and, you know, being stuck. Um, so I feel like this is just a cute little, um, you know, destination getaway kind of um, adventure box. And that's that's really cool. So overall, I'm going to give it two thumbs up, even though this thumbnail is broken. Again, don't judge me. I'm going to give it two thumbs up um, and I look forward to seeing what comes in the next box. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy this unboxing. Please, if you have not already done so, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And I would love to have you as part of my family. Again, we are on the road to 1000. So thank you to everyone that has been following me this far um, and supporting my channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you and cannot thank you nearly enough. Um, so anyway, as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.